Hello my soccer universe. We have a Europa League final. Inter is joining Sevilla in the Europa League final this Friday in Köln. Uh, it's gonna be an interesting one. It's the Inter's first final since they won the Champions League in 2010. So 10 years since that and uh, quite remarkably because the previous century was not that way. It's the first time that an Italian team is in the Euro Europa League final. That I couldn't believe myself, but yes, this is the case. Um, considering that I think up until 99, almost every year there was at least one year Italian team. Uh, quite the remarkable statistic. Um, unfortunately, I want to talk, I can talk some about the game, but I saw only highlights because I fell more or less asleep during the first half. I was. It's not because of the game. Well, the game probably was not as exciting as yesterday's game. Uh, it was just, I was done. I was physically exhausted. Um, and I started watching, I remember falling asleep. Uh, then quickly waking up and at that moment I see Piatov play a horrible ball out to Barella. Uh, who then runs to the, his right side, uh, acres of space there. Uh, puts a nice cross in on to Martinez who heads it in and makes it 1-0 for Inter. Um, and then I basically fell asleep again and I woke up just before halftime and I said, okay, I'm not going to finish watching that game. Uh, from what I could tell uh, is that Conte and also, you know, now uh, watching highlights and reading a little bit and listening a little bit up on it, Conte really stifled Schachter. He knew that Schachter is very well um, offensively, a uh, very fluid style. He just didn't give them an inch. Every passing lane was usually covered. Every dangerous pass, pa passing lane was covered. And uh, the press, I mean, the mistake by Piatov, uh, yes, you never should play it out like this. Um, but you also have to say that he didn't have many options. He could have punted it down. Maybe that would have been better uh, in terms of conceding a goal. But other than that, there was not really much uh, that he could do because uh, Inter basically limited all his options right there. And... When Schachter got into the game, Inter just said, no, we're not giving an inch. We're not uh, really very sound uh, defensively. And so it went also at the, at the beginning of the second half, uh, when Brozovic then assisted D'Ambrosio to make it 2-0 in the 64th, and that was the game. Uh, at that point, uh, Inter then turned up the screws. So first, very solid defensively, then they turned up and it became ugly for Schachter. Really, really ugly. Uh, Martinez in the 74th adds a third after assist by Lukaku and then Lukaku backs to himself. One um, uh, assisted by Lautaro and the other one by De Frey. Uh, he's now on 10 consecutive games in the Europa League, scoring a goal. Uh, pretty impressive stuff and also on a season where yeah, he's about to match the record that Ronaldo had in his first season at Inter. Of course, Ronaldo had less games and so on. But uh, I have to say, Lukaku, yes, he is Inter. And yes, I'm again saying I'm a Milan fan, so I don't have much love for Inter. But I have to say this Lukaku guy I actually like. And I'm actually quite happy for him that after... Uh, the ridicule he received at Manchester United uh, that he has now found his place and is really uh, playing well and helping um, Inter go forward. The game against Sevilla, I think, will be an intriguing one because uh, a, in the Europa League, never bet against Sevilla. I think uh, we can safely say that because I don't. Uh, that's that's their competition. Uh, and they have never lost a Europa League final, and they've been in five of these. On the other hand, uh, if Inter, especially Conte, is tactically so sound and uh, really... Now, I think he has found um, the team uh, to, get, <laughs> to get the most out of the, the team he has available. So, um, very interesting to see how he will respond to that. Uh, the one thing is Schachter plays nicely, but it's all kind of always towards the center, whereas Sevilla goes a lot on the outside. So um, let's see. I think Conte has everything uh, available. And if Inter, this time around, they convert their chances. They couldn't kill off games uh, pre-previously. If they can find that, 
Might as well be interlifting the trophy. So uh, we have to see all about that. I think it will be a very, very intriguing final. Um, and again, Inter going back to the roots, being tactically sound. I think it was a masterclass by Conte. I really, really have had to say they first stifle Schachter and then they uh, roll over them. And I think I heard this was the largest semi-final win in the UEFA Cup Europa League and the largest win since Milan's famous 5-0 uh, demolition of Real Madrid in the European Cup. So, hey, that's also some, something. When you look at the stats, I think one that stands out is the Schacht had only three fouls, but uh, again, it's not necessarily their type of play. With Inter that well, and I don't want to dwell too, too, too much on it, uh, you know, the rumors are that Messi is joining and the internet is going crazy with it. That, um, Let's see how hard how, how it goes. Will he even get into that side at the moment? <laughs> nah, I don't want to, I really don't want to take part of the room. I mean, I want to focus on the games. Uh, if you've been on my channel, uh, you know that I don't like to do that. Anyway, uh, anything you would like to fill me in onto in, in that game, please drop a line below. Give me a thumbs up. Enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.